What's up athletes? Welcome back. Today we have a 10 minute full body workout to do and all you need to follow along is just your mat, a medium weight pair of dumbbells or anything else you have weighted at home to follow along with. And then you'd also need an ab mat or a small cushion to place under the low back for some lumbar support. Now I also recommend that you stay close by to an elevated surface, so a couch or a chair because we're going to be doing some exercises in the plank position and this will allow you to modify and to follow along. Now this is a great way to build strength to elevate yourself versus going onto your knees to follow along in some of these movements. And before you know it, you'll be able to do all of these exercises with me as prescribed. All right, now today's workout is a 10 minute wild card workout. We're gonna work for 45 seconds. We are gonna rest for 15 seconds. I'll show you your first movement and then going forward, only let you know what's coming up in that 15 second break. Ready to rock and roll? All right, so, First movement today is fast feet. So we're gonna get into a half squat position, making sure that we're pushing the knees out. The back is gonna stay nice and straight. And then we're gonna quickly run in place as fast as we possibly can. Now to modify it, just find your pace, all right? And I will encourage you that at any point, if you start to feel fatigue, don't stop moving. Just slow it down a little bit and follow along. All right, athletes, ready to go? So starting with fast feet in three, two, one, and go. All right, so stay nice and low here. Follow along with me. Try to switch your feet, and it's all about the music. So if you're pumping up some really good music, it's gonna get you through these 45 seconds much faster. All right, so stay nice and low. I'm constantly auditing my position. So if I find myself starting to stand, I sink back down a little bit lower, really wanting to feel it in my quads, really wanting to also feel it in the posterior chain. You're gonna feel your calves firing as well. And now, just make sure you're not allowing that upper back to collapse. So open up that chest, stay nice and straight, pull the shoulder blades back and down, and then keep going. I know you're feeling it, I know I'm with you, but don't stop. Remember, you could just slow down, but try to keep moving. We're keeping that heart rate up. Three, two, one, whew, and shake it off. All right, join me now on the floor in a plank position, or go ahead now and get into that elevated position. We're going to do a row, row, and then step or walk to the weights, keep it back flat, bring the weights onto the shoulders, and then press up overhead. Now to keep it back flat, keep that gaze looking forward. Row, row, step, or jump, keep it back flat, look forward, and then press up. Again, on my way down, I look straight to keep it back flat. Now, follow me here, just be mindful of your pace. Remember, it's not about speed, but always about control. That's it. Now rotate also through that plank position so we get some of these obliques as well firing. We wanna really engage the core as much as possible. Back flat, all the way up. And then maybe we'll just squeeze a quick one in here in the last few seconds. And break, all right. Good job. Now keep one of the weights. We're gonna get into a goblet squat position. So slide your the heels of your hands just under your weight. We're gonna lift up the heel and then squat. So in this position, we're really working the vastus medialis oblique muscle. That's the inside muscle of the thigh. You wanna modify here. Just come back to that seated position and just follow along. So remember to keep the torso up. You notice that there's a lot of balance involved here too. This is now an opportunity to work on the balance, work on some of these muscles that are firing around the knees and the ankle that we generally don't use very much. When we're wearing shoes and not really spending a lot of time barefoot, as you notice I do in my workouts, we're not activating all these little intrinsic muscles in the feet. That's it, keep it up. You got it, don't let that upper body collapse and break. All right, good work athletes. Drop the weight, prepare for another set of fast feet. Here it is in five seconds. Remember, just keep that pace going, okay? So find your pace and then stay consistent. Three, two, one, let's go. That's it, stay nice and low. We got this, chest is up, don't let it collapse forward. Pull the shoulder blades back and down. Maybe move around the mat with me a little bit. Just to switch it up. That's it, don't stop. I know you're feeling the burn in the legs. Keep going, stay with me. Remember, slow it down if you need to, but don't stop. That's it, continue to breathe, we've got this. 
Good work. 10 more seconds. Come on, stay low. Stay low. Don't break. Here it is. Almost done. Three, two, one. All right. Shake it off. All right. Go ahead and grab your ab mat or your cushion. You're going to place it behind your low back. Grab one of your dumbbells. And now we're going to do an overhead sit up in the butterfly position. So knees out, feet together. Go all the way back. Shoulders touch the floor. Keep those arms locked out. And then keep the weight also facing the ceiling the whole entire time. Now, to modify, just go ahead and follow me without any weights at all. Good work. So if you notice, I don't bring my arms back. I really want to keep my arms as vertical as possible and instead trying to pass my head through my arms, keeping them faced up towards the ceiling the whole time. And now this butterfly position gives us that opportunity to not only increase our range of motion in the sit-up, but we also take away the work of the hip flexor and really isolate those ab muscles in the front. And break. All right, athletes, good work. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. Now we're gonna remove this ab mat, grab both of your dumbbells, and now we're gonna get into a bridge position with a chest press. So go ahead, lift up your hips, lock it out, and now bring the weights together. So I always want to do a quick audit here, watching the hips, making sure that I don't drop the hips at any point. And now I'm lifting up my toes and really trying to drive through the heels. And if I want, I could also bring my heels back just a little bit to adjust. Good work, keep going. Just checking our time here. I have a tendency to get too excited and usually go over that 45 second interval. All right, at this point, quick check of the hips. Make sure you're still pushing up. If you feel like you're at a good position, then please squeeze harder, lift up a little bit higher. Stay with me here. Inhale on the way down, and then exhale on the way up. And break. All right, now drop one dumbbell, keep one. Now we're gonna do hip lift. So back into this position here, we're now gonna lift up, hold the top position for one, two, and then come back down. Now, I'm really making sure that you can reach your heels. So I tend to slide when I'm doing this position. So just keep readjusting. And now really focusing on holding it a little bit longer in the top position. The bottom position is gonna be a touch and go. And you see, I'm still moving with control because I'm really trying to be very intentional with the movement. I'm activating every fiber in the posterior chain and really connecting with them. Sometimes when we go too fast, it's momentum that drives the movement. So just slow it down, connect with the muscle, and then continue to breathe to drive that oxygen to the tissue. That's it, good work athletes, don't stop. Good job, three, two, one, and that is the last one over here. All right, so go ahead, drop this here, and now follow me back up onto the feet for, yes, you guessed it, one more round of fast feet. And here it is in three, two, one, let's go. Come on, stay nice and low. Maybe we can try to up the speed a little bit. We had a little bit of a break in that bottom position, giving ourselves a little bit of a breather here. All right, don't stop. Come on, chest is straight. Sink down a little lower. Come on, we got this. Maybe you can move a little bit faster than me, but with control. That's it, I'm feeling my calves. I'm feeling the anterior part and medial part here of the thighs. And of course, the heart rate. That's it, you got this athletes, good work, good work, come on. Three, two, one, oof, that's a doozy, such a good one. All right, come on over now. We're gonna grab that dumbbell one more time and then get into a high plank position. So in our high plank position, we can either come up onto that elevated surface or stay down here and we're gonna do a pass through. So keep the hips low and the goal is to create friction against the mat or the floor. So I'm not lifting up my weights. You see I'm sliding my weights because that's how we're creating resistance in the movement. So rotate from one side to the other. That's it. And then try to keep those hips low. Make sure that you're really pressing through that side as you're pulling from one side to the other. And notice I said pulling because 
I'm driving my hand under and then I'm pulling across. That's it, continue to breathe. Watch those hips, make sure that you're not rising unnecessarily. Stay nice and strong. Three, two, one. Let's go ahead and finish that off. All right, amazing job. Now we're gonna finish this up today with a set of Russian twists. So with or without weights to modify, it's up to you. Grab your weights, lean back, you can lift up your feet here for a bit more intensity, and then slowly rotate from side to side. Now, if you're feeling your back, drop your heels, come a bit forward. And if you're also moving through this movement faster than I am, please slow it down. This is not about speed, especially as we're creating a twisting force in the spine. It's really important that we stay in control. The goal is not to enter the low back. And again, remember earlier when I mentioned if we move with speed, oftentimes it's momentum that's driving the movement. And now that makes a vulnerable situation for the back. That's it, continue to breathe. Keep your eyes on your weight. It'll help you rotate a little bit more through the movement. Three, two, one, and clean it up on the other side and break. Good work, athletes. We made it. You did so great. Remember that you have a little bit more time go ahead, repeat once more, or check out the other link I have for you at the end of this video. Remember that I love to hear from you, so comment below, let me know how this went for you. Please like this video, and if you're new here, please subscribe so that we keep training together. All right, athletes, now go refuel, rehydrate, and let's meet in the next one. You got this.